Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see the continuation of an earthquake swarm, visibility of the lunar eclipse in two days, the latest shots of Comet Atlas, and an excellent paper on how cosmic rays impact biology. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where things weren't quiet, but not highly active either. Most of the low-level M-class flaring happened at the north near center longitudes, several flashes and pops from that region there. One of the pops looked like it may have sputtered out a small CME, and coronagraphs show faint plasma signatures, but they are sparse, so they won't be of any meaningful impact. We are still monitoring these sunspots, even without them having major size or magnetic complexity. They are still morphing, so that calm could change. Not much incoming at the limb at this point. But we already do have the next space weather item on deck. Either later today or tomorrow, the solar wind from this coronal hole should arrive, reigniting minor solar storm conditions. And over on the left side near the limb, by the way, we can see a slightly darker area, and that is the next coronal hole. That's incoming now. Folks, the Nevada earthquake swarm continues. While it's still at relatively low magnitude, this is such a strange location. Watching it again today, hoping these are just long-lasting aftershock sequences. Folks, we've got a lunar eclipse in two days, but 95% of my viewers are not going to be able to see it. Zero visibility for the Americas here. But September 7th, if you live somewhere else, try to get out and see the total lunar eclipse. Folks, we have new shots of Comet I-3 Atlas. These come from Gemini, and they show a very comet-looking object. If it's not a comet, it already thinks it's Halloween and has its comet costume on. Also, folks, as you can clearly see, the tail is opposite its motion. No clue why the internet is saying otherwise, but the tail is, in fact, behind it. And today's top story, it's looking very long term at the cosmic ray modulation by the galactic magnetic field as the sun goes up and down in the galaxy. Now while this takes millions of years for just one transition and hundreds of millions for the full cycle, the same galactic magnetic field and space energy impact works as we cut through the galactic current sheet in the middle of the Milky Way disk, where we are now. These fluctuations in cosmic energy have repeatedly been shown to be the trigger for new species formation, while also creating dramatically harsh conditions that take out other species. This is what's happening to Earth in just a few short centuries span right now as we take impact from the galactic current sheet once again. We are enduring the galactic magnetic reversal. Quick note for everyone who backed the Kickstarter project for the documentary film on the magnetic pole shift in Earth disaster cycle, your survey is in your email. I'll make one more reminder here in the morning show, and Kickstarter is going to send a few reminders as well. Just need the name you want credited in the credits and producer credits of the film. Please do not answer here on YouTube. If you don't answer the survey at all, I'll just use the Kickstarter username, and for some of you that's fine. Others, it would be unfortunate, but get on that. Folks, lots happening before the end of the year at Observer Ranch as well. Be sure to go to ObserverRanch.com to register and book your stay or just give us a call. Some events are filling fast and others won't be available for last second registration. October prepping events are run by world experts. I would consider them. Plan that trip now and for November, tactical training to kick off the month in round two of the wildly successful Observer Speed Dating. Then the film premiere and pole shift conference weekend. Potluck for Thanksgiving observerranch.com. We can't wait to see you in person. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.